Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone. We are continuing here in the Pele Yoyetz and Avas Ish Isha, the love that a husband has for one's wife and vice versa. And we're still speaking from the husband's perspective. Now listen what he writes. All of this, the Ava, the love, the respect, the understanding, the acceptance that we've been speaking about, this is a no-brainer, says the Pelayoyetz, when you see the great woman that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has bestowed to you, a woman that is maskelis, she is bright, she is intuitive, she is smart, she is savvy, she is beautiful, she is kind, she is sweet. She has all the mailas, all the positive traits that you could dream of in a wife. Ki chesed Certainly a thread of kindness is spreading over her. Vechaviva al baila, she is beloved to her husband. A good wife, a beautiful wife, a wonderful wife, a kind wife, uh, quiet, simple, pure, be- wonderful, good, kind, all of the, all the good things that she has. She supports her husband, she encourages him, she makes him feel like a million dollars every single day. She takes care of the kids in an incredible ways that she does it. She's, she doesn't raise her voice, she doesn't get angry, she doesn't make faces, she doesn't complain, she doesn't cry. She's just a, a tzaddikis. Of course, it's understood, v'chaviva al Bible, such a woman is going to be beloved to her husband. And even if she doesn't have all of the mindless, all of the great positive traits that make a woman so spectacular, but she is, in general, she's just a wonderful woman with so many strengths and positive things, and she, she doesn't ruffle the feathers in the house. She keeps things calm. She's a, a good person in her, in her metzias, in her essence of who she is, and her husband is, is in love with her. Amnon, however, but when a husband wakes up and he looks at his wife and he realizes that a bad portion has fallen into his lot, Isha Kasha, a hard lady, who oimed bin Isayin Godol, he is now standing in the midst of a very big challenge and test in his life. Vitzar Choizek, and he needs strength. Lehis Nahig Ima Bishalom, in order to treat her in a very peaceful manner. Vereus, with friendship. Lichvoid Hashchina, for the honor of the Shchina. Ki Hadvarim Atikim, because these are old matters, which means, I think, what the Peleoids means is, is that this is not a new phenomenon that a husband will end up waking up one day and realizing that his wife is a very difficult woman to be able to handle. She gets irate. She complains. She nags at him. She screams and she yells. She makes faces when she doesn't like what her husband does. She puts him down in front of the children in front of the children, ladies, please do not put your husband down in front of the children. And men, please never put your wife down in front of the children. But let's say that she does. And she has her complaints that everybody else treats their wife so nicely and you don't treat me like this. And everybody else's husband, he so does this and you don't do that. And all of the things that an Isha Kasha, that a difficult wife is going to bring to the plate. You are now standing in a very big Nisai and a challenge, but you have to remember the goal is to keep the peace between you and your wife, Lichvoid the Shechina, for the honor and the glory of Hashem. Ve'yitain el libay, and think to yourself the following, Ki ba'arazim nafla shel heves, if a little flame of fire would fall Amidst the arazim, the cedar trees, what will happen? It will burn down the entire forest. If you will let the fires of anger, the fires of disappointment, the fires of frustration, 
the friars, the fires of being exasperated by dealing with your wife, if you will let those fires fall into your marriage, you will burn down the forest of shalom bayis, of peace and marital harmony that is supposed to exist between you and your wife. Don't give in, says the Pelayoyets, to the fires and the flames of anger and destruction because you and your wife are the ones that are going to suffer from it. At Sha'amu, like it says in the Gemara, Dayenu Shabatsilais Aisanu Minachait. A husband should think to himself the following It's enough that my wife saves me and rescues me from hate. Because now that I'm married, I am able to have relations with my wife and I don't have to sit around all day long and think impure thoughts and look around here and look around there. My wife, Baruch Hashem, she saves me from all of that. And she raises our children. Says the Gemara, what else do you want? Why are you getting so upset and so disappointed and so down about your marriage? Oh, your wife is an Isha Kasha. She's a hard lady to deal with. Okay, but she brings you two very beneficial things. Number one is, is that she keeps you sane and she keeps you holy and she keeps the inner sanctum in its place. And number two, you have children. Be'ez Hashem, your wife is busy raising the children so that you have the next generation of your family. What else do you want? Meaning, says the Peleyoyetz Chazal, are teaching us that if you learn how to look at the good that your wife does, that she provides for you, you'll begin to overlook all of the difficulties that you have with her because you'll be grateful for that which she does do and you will not be angry and frustrated for that which she doesn't do or she does do in very difficult and painful ways to you. And this is his introduction over here to the Isha Kasha, to the hard wife. And a husband has to rise above the emotional world that he might find himself in when he realizes what he got himself into. And the Pelayoyes is going to have very strong language how important Shalom Bayis is, how important it is to try to make things work to the best of our abilities. The D word, divorce, is the last word that comes on the lips or the tongue of a husband and a wife. We do everything within our powers to avoid the D word from happening in order to be able to embrace the challenges that HaKadosh Baruch has given us, to embrace the spouse that Hashem has given us, to recognize that there is good and there are benefits and it is a bracha that HaKadosh Baruch has given to us and perhaps the fact that it is Kasha, the fact that it doesn't go easy, perhaps like you see other husbands and wives having happiness and smiling and giggling and laughing and all of the things that go on in a healthy, happy marriage, maybe it's because HaKadosh Baruch Hu has bigger plans for you and your wife and greater levels of ruchnius that he wants you to achieve. This, we have to wait for the beautiful words of the Pelayoyets, but keep in mind, if your wife is good across the board, it's going to seemingly, it will make Shalom Bayes that much easier. If she's an Isha Kasha, if she's a hard woman to deal with, so you're going to have a lot of work to do in order to restore and to bolster the Shalom, the peace between you and your wife. And you keep in mind, it's all Lichvayd HaShchina, it's for the glory of HaKadosh Baruch Hu and His Shchina in this world. Have a wonderful day.